The uncertainty regarding the renewable fuel standard and the biodiesel tax incentive have had a negative impact on the biodiesel industry. The result was the U.S. biodiesel market shrunk in 2014 as many biodiesel plants shut down or reduced production. We need that tax incentive to, uh, to help move biodiesel, and that was in flux last year. In fact, the dollar per gallon incentive wasn't extended until December of 2014. Now they made a retroactive, but that doesn't help us again for next year. And those companies don't know what their profit margin is. Biodiesel consumption also fell to 1.75 billion gallons as EPA failed to finalize biodiesel volumes under the RFS. We don't know, don't have any certainty. We, we need to have certainty to figure out where we are on, re, on biodiesel. EPA will soon announce biodiesel volumes for 2014 through 2016, but the drop in production represented lost jobs, economic activity, and greenhouse gas reductions. I'm Michelle Rook reporting. This Heartland Consumer Report is sponsored by South Dakota Soybean Farmers and their Soybean Checkoff.